Quite a bit of editing. Welcome back to more Korean TV. Let's go ahead and finish off Cthulhu. What's that fucking smell? Smells like my room been coated in breeze. That's my fucking voice. What have they done to me? Come on. Oh! Ah, uh, Mr. Pierce. That looks unspectacular. Fuller, you died in front of my eyes. Don't jump to conclusions. Is there not the tiniest spark of a scientific mind inside of that detective skull of yours? What abject substance did you use to turn her into an empty shell? Abject substance? The serum extracted from Leviathan's oil bestows the power of life. To me, my body is nothing but the mortal vessel of my conscience. To you, it contains more answers and secrets than your insignificant mind can grasp. God then. That is not you. Not anymore. Not since your disappearance on the docks. Ah, detective. So easy to fool you. So eager to rush to the rescue of a woman in distress. You won't make me regret having tried to save people. I did what I could. Even for Colden. Your efforts to change your destiny Although in vain make you worthy of the fate that is yours, the day has come. You will be asked to choose. took your right to a normal life the moment you chose power over humanity no one wants to see such an unbearable sight you don't have the slightest idea of what you speak of what I've been through I have sacrificed my life to the one who sleeps my marriage my family my own flesh why didn't Sarah choose me? Why is it your damn face on her painting? But you already know it. I can see that you will make the right choice. I don't know. I don't know. Your fear. The unknown and your stupid pride cloud your judgment. 
Quit lying to yourself and embrace your destiny. It's not cowering that brought you those medals. None of this is real. Trust your guts. If nothing's real, what are you? I am a projection of your mind. What remains of that instinct that pulled you out of the trenches? Don't listen to them. They're too dangerous for your tired mind. I'm almost there. Here you are at last, Truth Seeker. She was waiting for you. You were waiting for me. Yes. When I finally discovered the truth, I knew you would come. All this time I was fighting it, afraid of what I might discover. But I was afraid of myself. It's coming. What did you learn? <laughs> Listen to me, Edward Pierce, as I will deliver the truth. Look around you. Everything is falling apart. You must stop this madness. I can't make that choice. This will be your decision. One man, one man only, prepared by the trials and revelations, holds the power to change the world. Because I saw you in the dreams I share with my God. I recognize you for what you are, a truth seeker. One of the rare humans who is able to perceive fragments of his mind. Yes, yes. I feel the truth in your words. Because it was written, or, as I like to see it, painted on the canvas of fate. Pierce, help me!
double the dosage as you asked us to, Doctor. Good. Thank you. I fought destiny. Let's see what happens when we embrace it. I'll be able to watch it again on YouTube. I know that none of you are watching it. <laughs> I can tell. Views. But on a video, you can easily fast forward to wherever you want. Let's see what happens if we embrace this. Here you are at last, Truth Seeker. She was waiting for you. You were waiting for me. Yeah, all this time I was fighting it, but I was afraid. It's coming. What that did you look at? <laughs> Listen. I already know what you're going to say. Let's just say it happened at a I've seen things. Strange and horrifying, but always true. Will you trust my words? Yes. One man. One because I saw a Truth Seeker. One of the rare humans. Yes. I feel the truth. Because it was written. Here's help me.
the fuck is going on? Fuck them all up! Kill Sarah! Was I Sarah the whole time? There are other endings. That's just the two I had. Well, it's time for game review. Hey, I in this game. Depending on the difficulty level you set it at, it's good. I give it seven and a half out of ten. Atmosphere, ten out of ten. Gameplay, ten out of ten. Play style, based on decisions and stuff like that, I give it a nine and a half out of ten. Cause you gotta unlock certain shit to do certain. Difficult, it depends on what level you set it on. Um, difficulty to me really doesn't matter how high or low you put it. It, it just doesn't. Um, but I'm going to set that at a 7 out of 10. Mechanics? It's got surprisingly pretty good mechanics. I guess mechanics are 9 out of 10. Bugs and glitches? I noticed one, but it was so minute, so I'd give that a 1 out of 10. Well, 9 out of 10 meaning is great. Not, not really problems. Low, low score means it's bad. Good high score means it's bad. Okay. Price and length of game campaign. I paid uh, like 40 bucks for this. Um, I would have rather liked to pay 20 But length of game and campaign. Depending that this has a lot of replay value, I give it, adding all that in together and what I paid for it, but the fact that there's a lot of replay value, I get the price and link of the game 8 out of 10. Still would like to pay between 20 and 25 for this, but still. Great title. Performance. Performed very e exceptionally well on my hardware. And I, I have a great computer and everything, but I don't have the latest shit out on the market. And I was able to run this crap in Epic. Just had to make sure my power setting for my PC was in high performance mode. But I, 10 out of 10 for performance. Music. There wasn't really much music other than creepy shit like this. I, I didn't like it. Five out of ten. Yeah. Voice and screen acting. I gotta give that a nine and a half out of ten. There was a couple instances where I saw where lips were moving, but the words they were saying, it just looked like, you know, 
time. What's going on? Like, so I gotta put the that that's the glitch. Weaponry? I mean, you get a gun at the end. You've had a gun all along. Uh, you, I, I really can't even evaluate that because you don't. It's, you only really use it on like two levels. I'm just, I can't, I can't evaluate. I can't, I can't give that a score. Melee guns can't give that a score. Graphics. 10 out of 10. Pretty damn good. Mood and scenery. For me, I'm, this might be biased, so I'm giving it a 10 out of 10. I loved it. I, oh. The, the, the creepiness, the weirdness, the occult. I love that shit. And overall, in my opinion, I give this game a 9 out of 10 great title. Do I think you should pick it up? Hell yeah, I do. Wait till the price comes down a little bit, but other than that, you should definitely check this title out. Hell, I might even check out past titles of Call of Cthulhu that are from like 2005 and older. You get the point. But this is a pretty good game overall. I liked it. Good job, whatever studio made this. Thank you all for watching. This was Game Review of Call of Duty. Well, that's going to do it, guys. Thanks for watching this episode of Cream TV. If you liked it, go ahead and leave a like, comment, follow, and subscribe. If you want to see more awesome Cream TV content, stay up to date with me on my social medias. Right over here, we got twitch.tv forward slash mr underscore cr3am. We also have Twitter at Lord underscore Cream underscore CTBG. And we also have YouTube.com horror slash Cream TV Gaming. And I also do many, many, many giveaways. So stay up to date with me on those places and, you know, you might just win yourself a game. And I do plenty of Gleam giveaways as well, along with random stream giveaways every day on stream. And I also do a stream elements giveaway that lasts usually a week, sometimes two weeks, depending on the title. Now, if you want to show further support for the Cream Pyre, like I said, stay up to date with all that. But if you want to go the extra mile, you can always donate. And my PayPal link is right up here. My original PayPal is no longer in service or whatever. We won't get into that. We'll just get into that one. And you can also donate at Streamlabs, which is right here too. And the cool thing about Streamlabs, there's mini games, pulse boats, all sorts of cool crap that, you know, they even have their own Streamlabs. There's a bunch of cool things with them, so you should check them out. And also, if you want, I've set up a Stream Elements account to donate, which is also tough. Stream Elements is sort of the same thing, a little bit different. They're working on their own version of OBS as well, so you should definitely check them out as well. And also, last but not least, I've also set up a Patreon account, which is also going to be at the top of here. And, you know, I set that up not too long ago. Not really, uh, I don't really know much about Patreon, but I know people support you on there. So if you want to support me, the link is up top. As always, pardon the interruptions. Stay happy, healthy, safe, out of trouble, and most importantly, stay creamy and tuned for the next awesome godlike creamy goodness and great giveaways. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.